I'm still holding on. But every knockback, every rejection still feels like a kick in the guts. It makes me feel like there's no point in even trying, you know. Nine times out of ten, my application's filed in the bin. My last interview, it went well, but it's always there, the elephant in the room. And yet, I've been clean for almost a year now. The government say they want to help me back into society, but how am I supposed to do that if no one will give me a break? You could at least think about it. Hey, Annie. Do you have it? No. It has to be completed this morning, otherwise I'm afraid the whole thing is off. Yeah, maybe that's for the best. Look, honey, everyone gets cold feet. But in my experience, people come through this thankful they were given the opportunity. Do you want to miss your chance? No, I'm sorry. I'll be there for you, Annie, every step of the way. The weight of the world on your shoulders. Feels like it. Well, why don't I whisk you away from Leatherbridge to the land of Rigoletto? Yeah, right. I have a spare ticket for the matinee tomorrow. Oh, I'd love to, Esther. And you shall. But I'll be doing paperwork through lunch so that me and Aisha can leave work on time. We're going to see that new Bond film tomorrow night. Oh, oh you are a kite, Mr. Bond. Oh, no culture wins out. Oh, sorry, Esther. But, but thank you. Al, opera tomorrow. Don Giovanni. Esther, I've got all the opera I need right here, but thank you for the very expensive offer. Good morning, Heston. Uh, rumour? It's just that I haven't heard anything and the interview was last week, so... Can you tell me why? What about my history? Hello? Annie? I don't think I can go through with this. I understand. But you've been through so much to get this far. And you won't be alone. We just need to get the form signed so it can go ahead this afternoon. I don't think my doctor will do it. The form simply asks them to confirm that you've been treated for a drug's dependency. They won't know what it's for. Without it, my organization can't release any funds. Can we do it now? I can come and pick you up. Annie? Come in. Heston, I'd like the benefit of your expertise, please. How can I help? Well, I have been misled by all of the doctors here. Either they're humouring me or they're actively lying to me. Both a very serious allegation. Huh? Are you proud of your own record? Um, antibiotics. Well, maybe I shouldn't have prescribed quite so many. Still, I'm not quite as bad as... Uh... Jimmy. Indeed. So? What do I do? Have you spoken to him about it? He doesn't respect my views on this. Sid, you're a, a qualified doctor. Saying challenging and difficult things, it's all part of the territory. You're right. Thanks, Esther. I... Well, uh, I'll do just that. to see a doctor this morning. Uh, Dr. Reed, ideally. I'm afraid Dr. Reed's not seeing patients today. But Dr. Donoghue is running a drop-in clinic, if you don't mind waiting. Yeah, OK. Um, my name's Annie Watkins. Oh, please take a seat. Jimmy! Good morning. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk to you about antibiotics. Ah, uh, I've said all I need to say about that. Yeah, but I was just wondering how you were going to address this. I'm not. By carrying on like this, we're contributing to antibiotic resistance. One of the biggest threats... Sid! In... There are hardly any new antibiotics being developed. This makes it harder and harder to treat new infections. Yeah, well, thank you for telling me, Sid. Thank you for the insight. Uh, uh, of course, you know all this. Yeah, so tell someone who doesn't. Oh, take a seat, Annie. So what can we do for you today? Oh, well, it's not exactly medical. Right. Not sure you're in the right place, so... I, I can't find any work, and it's wearing me down. At the JSA is not enough to live on. But there's this scheme that helps ex addicts get some like paid work experience, um, cleaning up around the estate. All right, and with some work experience under your belt, hopefully you get a job. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I just need you to sign this. 
It verifies that I've been treated for a drug dependency. Without it, I'm not eligible. Okay, that's not how we do things. There's a small charge and also we have a process to make sure the form is valid. Dr. Reed's done all that. She said I should just pop in for a signature. Right. I thought I'd see her this morning. I, I have to drop it off within the hour, otherwise I'm not going to get on. Well, if Dr. Reed says it's okay, I'll make an exception this once, but in the future, we do need forms to go through reception. Yeah, yeah of course. Right. Sounds like a really good scheme. Hope you get on it. Me too. Yeah, thanks, Doctor. Keep me posted. Well done. I think I'll walk home and get some air. Okay, um, I'll come and collect you about 11.30. Can I do the system with these? Thank you. Cheers. Excuse me, Doctor. Could I have a quick word? Sure. Um, would I be correct in saying that you take a more progressive view towards those suffering from drug addiction? Well, I believe addicts should be helped. Well, it's a matter close to my own heart. Um, back in Connecticut, I work with addicts to help them and the wider community to avoid further pain and suffering. Great. Addicts need all the support they can get. Absolutely. I am so glad we see eye to eye on this. Perhaps you and this health center could help further my work in the UK by recommending my scheme to your patients? It's very well funded. There are many donors willing to help the cause. Okay, well, I'll look into it. Thank you. Excuse me! Sorry, excuse me! Wait! Offering to pay addicts to get sterilized is completely unethical. Oh, I don't think the babies born crack addicts would agree with you. But don't you realize that some addicts will just use the money to buy more drugs? Well, if they do, that's their choice. The children have no choice. What you're doing is exploitative. It's a form of social engineering and no one in that building will condone it. Why are those who aren't fit to be parents allowed to have child after child when they can only give them the worst start in life? It's a form of child abuse. These people need to be stopped for the good of society. If I see you around here again, I'm calling the police. Do you understand? On what grounds? Trespass. You're not wanted here. I really hope you manage to open your eyes one day, honey. <sighs> and see things as they really are. Jimmy. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Right. I just stated the obvious. Yeah, well... <laughs> what I should have done was propose an actual solution. And I have one. Which is? Equip all the doctors with practical strategies which will work in the real world. Probably. It'll help you embed the behaviours you need when dealing with patients. And can I, uh, run you through one? Ah, uh, um, I can't, no time. I've got real patients to see, but... Mate, I would love to do a role play with you. <sighs> Let me just get into character. <laughs> and... Curtain up. Doctor, I've got the most horrific hacking cough. My, my nose is running, my temperature's through the roof. Now, what on earth do you mean you're not going to give me antibiotics? Uh, well, uh, antibiotics aren't always guaranteed to work. I mean, your illness may well be viral, not bacterial. Yeah, but you can't say that for sure. Uh, no, but on balance... No, I want tests done. I want you to know for sure. Well, that is a disproportionate measure. I mean, for such a common illness, that's an extra process that I just can't justify. What do you mean you can't justify? You're just penny-pinching. I pay my taxes. How dare you, sir? Uh, look, even if it was bacterial, I still wouldn't prescribe antibiotics because plenty of rest and Fluids, well, that'll do the trick. No, you're just trying to fob me off now. The NHS clearly is in a sorry state. If you can't afford just a couple of measly tablets. <laughs> Antibiotics resistance is a huge problem. Okay, that is more of a threat to you. How dare you say that I'm a huge problem? You're the huge problem. I'm going to contact my local MP and I'm going to get you struck off and seen. Now, Sydney, you just got yourself sacked. So, any thoughts on that roleplay? I'm probably not very good at it. Okay. Just a couple of things for you to consider. You look better. I'm clean. 
I've been for almost a year. I never thought you could do it. I'm glad to say you were wrong. Where are you staying? I've got a flat at the Churchill Estate. Exactly what you'd hope for me, I suppose. You're doing well. It looks like having to fend for yourself was the best thing for you. Actually, you're wrong. That just made me worse. Not in the long term. No. This is what made me stop. Oscar. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. He's been adopted, but if I stay clean, I might be able to still see him. Why didn't you tell me I had a grandchild? I, I could have helped. You threw me out, remember? <gasps> He's beautiful. Yeah, he is. Can I see him? Mum, I need your help. What do you need? Money. I need money. Take it that was a no. I actually believed you for a second there. Where did you get the picture? A magazine? I took it myself. This is a new low for you, Annie. Do you really think I'd lie about something like that? I know so. You haven't changed. Actually, you're wrong. I have. You haven't. Oh, here we go. The first step to resolving your more socially acceptable addiction is to admit you have a problem. I don't. Who are you kidding? Don't you dare come in here and project all your problems onto me. Oh, really? Then why did Dad leave? I'm sorry. It's just that I'm on the other side of it. You never cured. Now, before I throw you out. What, again? Just go! Yeah, OK. I'll go. I'll go to the clinic and get myself sorted, if that's what you want. Annie? Annie, what do you mean? I give up. Jimmy won't listen. What did you say? I set out all the big picture arguments, you know, I told him why we have to do this. Anything else? I tried to get him to do some role play so we'd feel better prepared for any difficult Did you challenge discussion. him on his poor record? Well, uh, not exactly. He's the worst offender in the place. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Go back and say what has to be said. I was afraid you weren't coming. There was someone I had to see. But my mind's made up now. Good. You know, I would never twist your arm to walk through that door. But it's the right thing to do. There's something I haven't told you. I was ashamed. Of what? I had a boy, Oscar. They took him from me and... And I hate myself for it. I promise that will never happen to you ever again. Come on now. Let's do this. advertising this on our doorstep. Do you put it there? Yes, I think so. The American lady? Yeah, the one your patient gave a form to after a consultation. Oh. Can you get Annie Watkins' record up on screen? Mm. I've been an idiot. Text me her number. I've got to go out. OK. What have you done? I'll tell you later. Oh, Mrs Watkins, have you seen Annie? No. What do you want her for? I'm sorry, I can't say. Look, she said she was going to get herself sorted. Is that why you're here? Doctor, 
She's going for an abortion, isn't she? I really can't say. It's doctor-patient confidentiality. But why won't you help me? I have to find her. I know. I'm looking for her now, and if I see her, I'll ask her to give you a call. In the meantime, why don't you try St. Phil's and give me right. a ring if you have any luck, OK? Right. Uh, I'll do that. Uh, thank you, Doctor. Thank you. like some more information about your scheme. Um, yes, I'm an addict. Erwin. Look, I just want to know that the procedure will be carried out in a reputable hospital. Leatherbridge. Thank you. I'll look into it. Are you sure? Annie Watkins. I think she's been coerced. She might be under a different name. No, I'm terribly sorry. How's it all going? They're happy it can go ahead. That's great news. Now you rest. I just need to make a quick call. Hello? Annie. Look, I know what's happening here. Please don't make such a life-changing decision so quickly. Tell me where you are. No, you'll only try and stop it. Would that be such a bad thing? Are you aware that there is no guarantee this procedure could be reversed? I need the money. Can you pay me not to do it? You know I can't do that. Well, then it's none of your business. I feel responsible, Annie. I should never have signed that form. Look, just meet me. So we can talk, and if you still want to go through with it afterwards, fine. But give me a chance, OK? I have to go now. No, Annie, you seriously cannot be going through with this. Your mother's looking for you. She thinks you're having an abortion. <sighs> she gets it wrong again. You're welcome to set her straight. There's nothing she can do. Annie, who is it? I had a baby that was born a heroin addict. It was about the money, but Colleen, she's right. I can't let this happen to another child. Annie, you're strong. You've beaten it. OK, think about the future. Please. Thank you, Doctor, for caring. Oh. I know how difficult this must be. Yes. Amelia, Howard's daughter, is his main beneficiary. She's been left the house and most of Howard's assets. Good. Good. I'm, I'm glad that that's how it should be. I've been in touch with her already. How is she? Being brutally honest, she's very angry. She's refused her entire inheritance. But uh, surely she's obliged to take it legally. Emil is entitled to exercise choice in this matter and she refuses. Maybe I should try and talk to her. It's complex. Howard and Amelia's past. I doubt it's resolvable, sadly. Well, maybe I could at least try. <sighs> right, well, thank you very much. I'm not quite finished. Howard also made provision for you. F for me? How did you find us? I tried every hospital in the area. Well, you're too late, honey. She's having it done, right? Oh, don't you honey me, all right? What is this, some kind of religious thing? This isn't God's work. This is personal. So you're not at yourself. I was, but not by choice. Thankfully, my real mother took me in and saved me from all the neglect and the abuse, all caused by my birth mother. If she'd been sterilized, you wouldn't have been born. In many ways, that would have been easier. The pain I have suffered I will never be able to forgive that woman for putting the drugs before me. So what is this? Therapy? It's not that simple. I don't take any joy from all of this. It is hard, but Annie made the right decision. If that were true, why did she need a bribe to do it? Why didn't she make the choice out of her own free will? Well, sometimes society needs a helping hand. 
You exploited her. She was turning her life around. And she'll regret it and she won't thank you. I think she will. She gave birth to one addict. Statistically, it would have happened again. Okay, so where do you draw the line with sterilization? Parents with mental health problems? Those who can't afford to feed their kids? Those who smoke? Oh, and uh, what about pedophile parents, Doctor, huh? What do you think about them? I am an advocate for all the unborn children who will be denied a loving family. Nobody else around here seems to be. Certainly not you. I'm going to talk to the local health authority and make sure that every GP surgery and medical practice for miles around knows about you and your agenda. Fine. You do that if it makes you feel any better. Oh, it will, believe me. Because no doctor will risk getting struck off for the likes of you. So once you get out of here. Perhaps you're right. I'll find somewhere more receptive to my message. Somewhere more enlightened. It is my duty to inform you that on the day Howard learned you were pregnant, he came in and amended his will. Efficient as ever. Howard has left you a substantial amount of money. Uh, you're under no obligation to do this, of course. Do what? Uh, but he stated here that he'd left you enough money to buy into the partnership of the mill. Why on earth would she do that to herself? They're paying her. Five hundred pounds. Why didn't she tell me that's what she was going to do? That stupid, stupid girl! You can go now. OK, Mrs Watkins, I know you're not close to your daughter, but you really need to go and see her. Really? Look, I'm not close to my mother, but if something bad happened, I would want her there. I turned my back on Annie, threw her out. She doesn't want me. She reached out to you earlier, didn't she? No matter how much Annie denies it, she needs her mother now more than ever. Why? She's done so well to get off drugs. But she's vulnerable. If she's going to stay off them, she'll need your support. I'm not sure I could ever help her. Shouldn't you at least try? Jimmy, we need to resolve this. Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> the fact of the matter is, your antibiotics history is the worst of all of us. What? That can't be right. <laughs> That's got to be a mistake. I have to cross-check these with my record. I'm sorry, but in my opinion, your figures show a high number of unnecessary prescriptions. Oh, <laughs> Sometimes they're very necessary, dealing with patients just to get through the day. I think they know better than you. I know the pressures were under. I feel them too. It's just... I want to be the one who wants changing things for the better, and I know you want that too, Jimmy. I patronise me. Th that wasn't my intention. I did it myself a few weeks ago. Fine, I will look at the figures and I will try harder. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you'll, um, you'll speak to the others, a as a partner? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. So, how did it go? Oh, you know. Pretty awful. I think the worst thing was hearing that Amelia is still rejecting him even now. Well, you have to see it from her side. He wasn't there for her. I know. It's just that he's left her so much and she's refusing it all. She's always going to have the wrong impression of him and that's not right. You know, he, he was generous and, and loving and... He changed his will to provide for me and the baby. Oh, Emma. And that's the kind of father he is. Was. And she needs to know that. Um, I'm going to go to Lancaster and, and talk to her and uh, try and make her understand. Are you sure? Well, if I don't do it, who will? Emma, we know the kind of man Howard was. We saw it every day and we'll remember that. Isn't that enough? No, Neve. It's not. Can I come in? Dr Donahue told me what happened. My first thought was to get another bottle. 
But I came here instead. I wish I could have stopped you. It was my choice. It's not your fault. I just needed the money. Oscar's first birthday is next week. Oh, Annie. I have to contribute to his life. It's my way of saying sorry for giving him my addiction. How could I risk doing that to another child? <laughs> Annie, come home. <laughs> so, it's mindless drivel for you at the cinema tomorrow night. Yeah, can't wait. At least our film's going to have a proper exciting story, Esther. And <laughs> explosions. Mm -hmm. You can't compare the mastery of Rigoletto with a trashy film. Riggy what? Oh, it's a tale. A tale of love, deceit and tragedy. Rigoletto is a very protective dad and his daughter's going out with this very sexy duke that he's a cat, sleeps with other women. So, Rigoletto hires an assassin to kill the duke, but the daughter gets in the way, gets hurt and dies in her dad's arms. Have you seen it before? Yeah. I watch loads of opera on the internet. Sounds quite interesting. Yeah, it is. I love it. Well, then, see you tomorrow, guys. All right, see, see ya. You. Internet? It's like eating prime venison from a plastic pot. What does it matter as long as you get the thing? No, you have to experience it for real. Oh, I see. I'll tell you what, seeing as I'm free tomorrow, don't want you sitting there looking all lonely and tragic. Uh, I'll meet you there. See ya. Could I just get the prescription? If we could just talk about that first. Get it. Oh, I, I didn't see you there. It's a lovely dress. This old thing. I altered one of Jimmy's photographs and sent it back to him. <laughs> you want to see what the problem is? <laughs> Don't you want this to stop? Of course I do. So work with me. I'm Emma, Howard's girlfriend. What do you want? What'll happen next? Ronnie, Roxy and...